A massive explosion shook Lebanon's capital, Beirut, on Tuesday, damaging nearly half the city. The blast also hit Beirut's port and the largest grain storage facility in Lebanon, hurting the country's food supply. The timing couldn't be worse, as many Lebanese can't afford to put food on the table during a dire financial crisis. It's an economic crisis, a financial crisis, a political crisis, a health crisis, and now this horrible explosion. Tens of thousands of people have taken to the streets since October 2019, when the Lebanese pound started plunging in value. Since then, prices have gone up on many food items, from meat to bread. And a recent report shows that nearly half the population struggles with food insecurity. Now, with the destruction of the country's main grain silo, which held some 85% of Lebanon cereals, many are worried about the future. And this will all people, not only in Beirut, but also the rest of the population in Lebanon, ganz egal ob uh, libanesische Bürger oder Flüchtlinge. In fact, Lebanon imports 80% of what it consumes, including a majority of its wheat, which is used to make flatbread a staple in most households. Just last month, prices for bread went up for the first time in eight years to adjust for inflation. And there are other problems. At least 33% of Lebanon's population are unemployed, and 45% live below the poverty line. Beirut's governor said the blast has left nearly 300,000 people homeless. Officials did not say what caused the fire that set off the blast. But President Michel Aoun said that thousands of tons of ammonium nitrate used in fertilizers and bombs had been stored for six years at the port without safety measures. But the country is in mourning. At least 100 people were killed and 4,000 injured in a blast that was felt all the way in neighboring Cyprus. The capital's port area was left in ruins, streets severely damaged, and facades of buildings shattered. Nearby hospitals were also heavily damaged at a time when the country has been dealing with a spike in coronavirus cases. Free hospitals in Beirut are not functional at the moment. Two others are only partially working, uh, while other medical facilities are overwhelmed with number of uh, injured people. Once the dust settles, Political experts predict that the blast could reignite anti-government protests in a country that has been on the brink of collapse for months. Many blame the ruling elite, pointing to years of corruption and mismanagement. And political experts say the current economic crisis is the worst threat to Lebanon's stability since the civil war.